Hello. How's it going, everybody? So, remember that Sesame Street character, Don Music, back from the 70s? You know, everybody remembers Don Music. You know, he would play the piano, and he would sing his song to Kermit the Frog, who was reporting, uh, reporting the news. And, of course, Don would, um, would play, and he would say, uh, you know, Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you, what you, oh, I'll never get it, never, and he'd bang his head, and, you know, and everybody would laugh, and that was pretty hysterical. Yeah, that's Aiden. Aiden is Don Music, and it's been this way for, well, since the minute he came out of the womb, to be, to be perfectly honest. Um, pretty much everything is a daily tragedy for my love, for my beautiful son. And uh, today was no exception. Actually, the last two days have been no exception. Uh, the boys, of course, are nine, uh, as, as you most of you are well aware, the twins. And um, Aiden thinks that, um, I don't know, putting on clothes by himself, uh, getting, you know, brushing his teeth, getting his food, uh, breathing that these are all terribly unjust things that, uh, that society has uh, forced upon him and that uh, it seems very unfair that he has to endure all this. Um, so the latest thing, of course, well, I shouldn't say the latest thing, but uh, the ongoing struggle and tragedy in his little life has been his shoelaces. Uh, now, I don't like comparing the two boys, you know, because that's just not fair. That's, you know, that's... They are their two, in, two little individual guys, and they will do their own things. And, um, But yeah, I'm fairly certain that Aiden would be comfortable and happy with his life if we let him just, you know, let his skin adhere to the couch as he sits there for the rest of all of eternity playing the Wii or uh, the iPod or whatever it is and just basically is, is cemented there forever. Um, any sort of activity that he was, he's required to do um, outside of um, blinking is pretty much just wrong and unfair, as I said. So, you know, uh, Maddie has been tying his own shoes now for quite some time, um, for, a couple of, for at least a good couple of years now without him too much issue. And it's for Aiden, it's been a little bit of a challenge, too. Um, so... Last year, last summer, as school ended, uh, we took two cardboard boxes and uh, we put in some, we, we, I drew a, a shoe on it and, uh, and then I basically punched holes in and put a, put a pair of shoelaces in and I said, this is, a, this is a great way for you guys to practice. And you know what, Maddie, again, had already pretty much mastered it, but I didn't want Aiden to feel a little, you know, uh, a little ostracized there. And Maddie didn't mind. He was happy to tie the shoes. Um, Aiden, of course, came up with every conceivable reason why he wouldn't tie his shoes. Um, everything from his fingers hurt to his stomach hurt to, um, you know, there may be a solar eclipse at some point in the near future. And so if he looks up in the air, look at, looks up at the sun, he'll be blinded and then he won't be able to tie his shoes anyway. So what's the point? Um, so needless to say, we're at nine years old and we're still having trouble tying our shoes. Now, I can't say that, that he doesn't know how to tie his shoes. He, he, he knows how to tie his shoes um, for the most part. It's that he feels that he's not content with the way they come out. He feels that they're not tight enough um, and so forth. So Don Music, I mean Aiden, uh, has been this way for the last year. And, and you know, and, and admittedly, I've, I, I've given into it. You know, I mean, when we're rushing to get out for school, um, you know, in the morning, and he comes over and he goes, my shoelaces are untied, it's just easier just to tie the damn things and get over with it and get, get them out of, uh, out of the house. So uh, finally, though, Kim, Kim put the hammer down and, and, uh, on and said, enough's enough, you need, to, you need to walk away from this, you need to let him tie his own shoes. So um, we started off yesterday, um, just no particular reason. It just seemed like, you know, if it's not going to be today, it's not going to be ever. So let's just do it. And needless to say, uh, Aiden was, was stunned that I was handing him his shoes and walking away. And, uh, you know, he 
cried and he sobbed and he wailed and at one point I think he sang to his knees sort of like uh, the uh, the poster boy for Platoon. Um, he said, uh, what, what did he say? He said something along the lines of, I can't believe the horrible parents I have who would be so cruel as to leave me defenseless. Yeah, I think he actually said defenseless. Defenseless and unable to tie my own shoes. And so we said, well, you know, you have a choice. You either tie your shoes or you tuck the laces in. And he said, why? Why do I have to live this way in a world where I have to tie my own shoes? Really? Um, so, again, the wannabe Don music. Uh, it continued again today um, where he... Took, t took the laces in his hands and then did this weird little thing with his fingers where he pretended like he's like t trying to get them around. He's like, eh, it's falling out of my hands. I can't get it. I can't get it. Don't you understand? So Kim says to him, uh, well, sweetie, if you're having this much trouble, maybe you have some fine motor skills issues that we should uh, we should address. Uh, maybe we should talk about them and we could, uh, you know, take you to a doctor to have a take a look. And he looked at her and he's like, why would you say such a thing? Why on earth would you say that I am sick or that I am wrong in some way, that I am ill? I am perfectly fine. And I'm like, well, then you need to tie your shoes. And he said, I don't understand why life is this cruel. You know, and it just amazes me that at nine years old, it just boggles me that, that nine years old, that shoelaces being tie, untied or being, being forced to tie your shoes is the cruelest thing that he's ever had to experience in his life, um, uh, aside from having to have to pick up his clothes and put them in the laundry basket or do homework or pick up his garbage or put the bowl in the sink or take the dog outside to go to the bathroom or feed the dog or put his toys away or well, you, you get the point. Oh, well, I love him. I love him. See you later.